Tesla vehicles are unlike any other vehicle on the road. They're aesthetically pleasing, they ride really, really smooth, and the technology in them is unlike anything I've ever seen before. One of the main features that Teslas are known for is their autopilot and full self-driving features. And in today's video, I'm going to break down exactly what autopilot is, what full self-driving is, and which one you should purchase. But as always, remember to subscribe, hit that like button so that you see more of my videos in front of your face. And stick around to the end of the video as I'll let you guys know which one I decided to purchase for my standard range Tesla Model 3. Now Tesla sells their vehicles in different configurations, whether it be the Model S, the Model X, the Model Y, or the Model 3. And all of them come with standard autopilot with the exception of the one that you have to buy offline, uh, which is just the standard range. And in their basic autopilot package, they include emergency braking, collision detection, and blind spot detection. So everybody gets that uh, right across the board. But two of the main features that Autopilot includes is traffic aware cruise control and auto steering. Now what traffic aware cruise control does is it will do all of the acceleration and deceleration for you. It will stop and go through traffic, uh, mainly geared towards the highway, and combined with auto steer will maintain you in your lane. So pretty much when you're driving on the freeway, uh, you don't have to do anything except for stay alert and just kind of be prepared to take over should you need to. Now, although these features are designed for freeway driving, you can use them on city roads to some extent. Now, keep in mind that with autopilot and full self-driving, they are both technically still in the beta phase. So they require uh, driver supervision at all times. Usually, if you see anyone that is driving on autopilot, they usually have to have at least one hand on the wheel and just to be ready to take over should they need to in the event of an emergency. Now with full self-driving, you get all of those features that I mentioned for autopilot. Uh, you get the traffic aware cruise control. You also get the auto steer, but you also get a few more additional features. So you get smart summon in which the vehicle is able to some extent kind of navigate the parking lot. Uh, it's supposed to be able to pull out of a spot and drive to your location to be able to pick you up. Although it, doesn't really do that yet, or at least not the way that a human would do it. Uh, there's still quite a few glitches in that and it doesn't work as intended. And with that, you also do get auto park. So let's say you pull up to a spot and the spot is too tight. Well, you can get out of your vehicle and it can park itself or parallel park itself without you being in the vehicle. Same thing when you come back. Uh, if you need to get in the vehicle, it will pull out of the spot so that you can get into your vehicle. But some of the main differences with full self-driving is you get navigate on autopilot and more recently you get traffic sign and traffic light detection. So what those are is navigate on autopilot on the freeway will be able to navigate you onto the on-ramp. Uh, it will change lanes for you and pretty much take you from freeway to freeway uh, all by itself with just having minimal driver supervision and minimal driver interaction. So all the lane changes, the signaling, the car will do on its own. And then because of a more recent uh, software update, what Tesla has done is made the vehicle able to recognize stoplights and stop signs so that it's able to stop at a stoplight and uh, then take off. And then in addition, do the same thing with stop signs. Now, one thing to keep in mind with full self-driving, and this is probably why people have a hard time deciding whether they should get it or not, is all of those features come at the hefty price of $8,000. And it's gradually gone up over time. It originally started out at $5,000. Now we're at $8,000 for full self-driving. Now, like I mentioned, over time with software updates, uh, the autopilot and the full self-driving is getting better and better. And Elon Musk has said that fully autonomous driving should be available sometime before the end of the year. Now that remains to be seen if Elon and Tesla can actually deliver on that. And I'm trying to be optimistic about that, but if you guys have watched my review video, then you'll know that even though autopilot and full self-driving are really good, there's still a lot of things that the car needs to learn to figure out. And then you have also all the regulatory hoops that Elon and Tesla have to jump through to get to the point where your car can actually drive all by itself without having any of the interaction from a driver. But with all of that mentioned, that begs the question still, should you go with regular autopilot or should you purchase full self-driving for the cost of $8,000? Well, you have to take a couple things into consideration. 
one of the things that Elon Musk said, and I thought this was really interesting, is that when your vehicle becomes fully autonomous, uh, the value of that technology in each vehicle will be somewhere in the ballpark of $100,000. So $8,000 uh, invested to get the value of your vehicle going up to $100,000, it seems like a really smart move. So Tesla's vision is to get as many electric vehicles out there on the road as possible and get them all with full self-driving or some kind of autopilot for their Tesla fleet. And pretty much what the Tesla fleet is, it's like Uber, but for electric vehicles without a driver. So imagine um, you go to work and you come home, you're not gonna drive your vehicle anymore, you know you're gonna go to sleep pretty soon. Well, with the Tesla fleet, if you put it on their service, uh, what Elon imagines that your vehicle would be able to do is, if someone needs to use it in those off hours that you're not using it, it will be able to pull out of your driveway uh, go pick that individual up, drop them off, and that would essentially be how you and Tesla would make money. So in essence, you pretty much make money while you sleep or while you're at work or when you're not using the vehicle. And I got to say, that's a pretty neat idea. Um, if Elon Musk and Tesla can actually figure out full autonomy, I think that's an excellent investment. $8,000 to get a return of $100,000 in just the ability to make money while you sleep from an investment standpoint, $8,000 is not a lot of money. So if you look at it that way and you have the discretionary funds to be able to spend the $8,000 up front, well then full self-driving is totally worth it. But the other side of that coin is there's a saying that goes, especially with technology is never buy a product for what it could be, but rather buy it for what it is today. So when I look at full self-driving for what it is today, uh, even though Navigate on Autopilot is really cool, they're still a work in progress. And then in addition to that, you still have things like Smart Summon that doesn't really work as intended. And if you look at it from that standpoint at what the vehicle is today, is full self-driving worth $8,000? I would say no. So if you're in the camp where it would be hard to come up with that type of money, then I don't recommend full self-driving. You can totally get by with just having the basic autopilot. It's great for highway driving. It's even great for using it in the city. Just be careful. Now, to let you guys know what I decided to purchase, on my standard range plus Model 3, I decided to stick with basic autopilot. Uh, even though full self-driving is a great investment if you are looking forward to the future, I just don't see it being there in the timetable that Elon and Tesla says it will be. So I'm interested to see how that starts to pan out with future software updates. And if I feel like it's getting close enough where I can still get a good deal, I may just go ahead and spring for full self-driving and still try to take advantage of it while it's cheap before it becomes super expensive. But that's all that I wanted to share with you guys in this video. I want to know down in the comments, if you have a Tesla, what did you decide to purchase? Did you get autopilot or did you spring the extra money to get full self-driving? Feel free, sound off in the comments down below. But we're going to end the video here and I want everybody to take care and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.